So let's begin in Shavasana, the best place to begin. So come down to your back, bring your feet out to the wide edges of your mat and let your feet just hang open. If you have low back issues, placing something either underneath your knees or underneath your thighs between your your seat and your knees. That will just kind of help alleviate the feet and the legs kind of pulling on the low back. And then putting your arms out by your sides at any distance that feels good. It might feel good to have them close into your body first thing this morning. Palms can face the earth to ground in and root in. Palms can face the sky to be open, to receive. And if your body is asking for some extra TLC today and to just feel held and safe and nurtured, you can place your right palm on your belly, your left palm on your chest, and just let your body know that it's being held, that it's loved and cared for, and that it's safe. And then close down the eyes here, wherever you have decided to land in your Shavasana. And closing down the eyes and just becoming that observer. The gaze is turned inward onto yourself. Just taking note and observing. Observing the inhales coming into your body. Observing the exhales leaving your body. Feeling the air fill your lungs. Feeling the air raise your torso as you inhale. And then feel your torso come back in on itself as the air leaves your body. Not forcing anything, not controlling the breath at this point, just allowing your body to be in its natural rhythm. And we're just being that observer. We're tuning in and we're just observing the body. We're observing our breath. Observing any sensations that we're feeling in this space as we lie here. And then I, this morning, I want you to put your awareness into your feet. So your feet are just kind of hanging out. They're not really doing anything. They're just there. I want you to put your awareness into your feet and then just begin to point your toes up to the sky. Not really flexing, but just straightening your legs and straightening your feet so that your toes are pointed up to the sky, almost as if there were a wall to the outside, to the inside of your foot, your big toe and your inseam of your foot is resting up on that wall and your big toe is pointed straight up at the ceiling. And then putting your awareness into your big toe, your inner arch, all the way down to the inside of your heel, putting your awareness into that space of your foot and then reach that space of your foot towards whatever is in front of you. Just a little bit, we don't have to get crazy here, but just pressing the big toe, pressing the inseam of your foot to the front of the room that you're in. And just hold that there for a few moments and feel the sensations that that creates in your body. Just observing, again, there's nothing right and there's nothing wrong. We're just feeling these sensations. They're gonna be different for everyone. Just 
observing, taking note, feeling, and then release that and just let your feet be. Maybe your feet want to fall out, just relax into that. And just observe in this space, once you let go of that, once you relax that, feeling into any sensations that are now in your body, observing the shifts of your body, observing what has changed in your body being in this space. And then bring those feet back into that position where your toes are pointed straight up to the ceiling, acting as if the inseams of your feet are up against those walls and those big toes are pointed up to the sky. And then slowly begin to reach the inseam towards the front of the room again. And just hold like that for a few moments taking note, observing the differences, observing the shifts, observing the sensations, feeling into the sensations that this creates. And then let that go, but keep your feet in that position where your toes are pointed straight up to the sky, but we're just relaxing back into that neutral space. We're not reaching forward, we're just neutral with our feet. And now put your awareness in the outer edge of your foot. So your pinky toe, the outside edge running all along the sole of your foot to your heel. And now I want you to put your awareness in that space of your foot and then reach that part of your foot, just that part, towards the front of the room. And hold that for a few moments. And observing, observe what this feels like in your body. Observe any sensations. And then relax that, let that come back. And now let your feet fall, let your feet hang. Let your feet just chill and relax. And then we're gonna come back to our breath. So shifting the awareness from our feet back into our breath, back into ourselves, back into our body, the upper part of our body. And wherever you are in your breath, empty completely, so allow all of the air to leave your body, pressing that navel back into your spine as you push all of the air up and out. And then seal your lips together and slowly take in a deep inhale through your nose, up and in, feeling that air come through your throat, come down your esophagus, filling the lungs, pushing that air down into the base of your belly, letting go of all the muscles in your belly and expanding your belly out like a balloon. Just let that belly go. Hold when you get to the top of your inhale and then part your lips open just a little bit and slowly exhale through the nose, just letting a little bit of air out at a time, just slowly releasing that air, letting it go as slowly as you can. Navel comes back in towards the spine as you empty completely. Pause at the bottom of your exhale, then seal the lips back together and inhale through the nose, slowly taking that air up and in. And again, let that belly go. Release all the tension in the belly. Just let it hang. Fill it up. Expand it out as wide as you can, pushing all that air into the belly, blowing it up like that balloon. Pause when you get to the top of your inhale. 
and then part your lips just a little bit and slowly exhale, letting the air release from your body bit by bit. Continuing here to now breathe in and out through your nose, sealing those lips back together, slowing the breath down. Every inhale is slower than the last and every exhale is even slower. And then as you are slowing the breath down, I want you to put your awareness back into your feet one more time. So bringing those toes straight up to the sky, putting the awareness into the pinky and the outer edge down to the heel, and then draw that space of your foot towards the front of the room. Feeling into these sensations in your body. What sensations is that creating? And then allow that to go. Let your feet go. Let your feet fall out wide. And continue here to slow the breath down. Putting all of that awareness back into the breath creating very slow and very deep inhales and exhales. And where I would like to go today with our class is to really shift our focus and attention on being creative. And the question that comes to my mind is, where can I be a little more creative? Where can I explore creativity? There's opportunity for creativity in every single thing that we do. Getting creative with our relationships, getting creative with our work, getting creative with playing outside, with being outside, getting creative with our heart's desires, getting creative with how we communicate, getting creative with how we choose to show up in the world. Getting creative with every little thing that is a part of your life. So really inviting in this idea, this concept of creativity. Making everything a creative idea. Making everything a creative concept. Instead of looking at something as a problem, maybe shifting the focus and being able to look at it and think, how can I creatively handle this? How can I creatively create a win-win? How can I creatively make this peaceful? So as we flow through our practice today, I just invite you to welcome in the question of where can I be more creative? Where can I explore creativity? And wherever you are in your breath, Take in a slow and deep inhale through your nose. Pausing when you get to the top of your breath, part your lips open and sigh out an open mouth exhale, letting it all go completely. 
Let's do that one more time. Slow and deep inhale through the nose, up and in, blow that belly up like a balloon. Let it all out. Pause at the top of your inhale for one moment without breath, feeling full, feeling that belly expanded. And then part your lips and sigh out and open mouth exhale. And then slowly bring your knees into your chest, bring your palms to your shins, gently rock from side to side, gently rock forward and backward until you are able to gain enough momentum to rock yourself all the way up into a comfortable seat. And today we're going to come straight into a tabletop. So if you can rock yourself all the way forward, coming into that neutral tabletop here. <clears throat> so coming into that neutral tabletop, we're going to do a few rounds of cat-cow. So as you inhale, drop the belly, lift the tailbone, lift the chin. Everything comes up while the belly presses down. Exhale, round the spine, tuck the tailbone, tuck the chin under. Inhale, come back to cow, drop the belly. Lift the tailbone, lift the chin, really dropping and lifting at the same time the chest is forward. Exhale, round the spine, tuck the tailbone, tuck the chin, press into your palms, press into your knees. Inhale, back to cow, drop that belly, lift the tailbone. Lift the chin, trying to reach the crown of your head and your seat together. Exhale, round the spine, tuck the chin, tuck the tailbone. <coughs> Inhale, back to neutral. And then we're going to extend our right leg behind us. So firmly pressing the sole of the right foot into that imaginary wall behind us. And then as you exhale, bring those right toes over to the left, place the right toes on the earth, look over your left shoulder. And today we're gonna add some extra into this, placing the right palm into the middle down like basically your right palm is going to come right below your face and then reach the left arm straight behind you so creating a twist we're creating a deep stretch in our right leg and we're twisting back with our left arm and then replace that left arm back down bring the right arm back over Lift the right toes up, bringing them back behind you. And as you exhale, replace the right knee onto the earth. Inhale your left leg behind you, pressing that left heel into the wall behind you. And then exhale the left toes over to the right, looking over that right shoulder. Feeling this in your left side, feeling this even in your right hip. And then take the left palm, placing it right under your face. And then reach that right arm back behind you. Creating that extra twist here. Reaching those right fingertips back to whatever's behind you. And then replacing the right palm walking the left palm back over, lifting the left toes up, bringing them back behind you, and then replace the left knee to the earth. <clears throat> and then we're going to create a little bit of a side 
plank here. So we're gonna lift our right knee off of the earth, and then we're gonna take our right foot, and we're gonna bring our right foot out to, or excuse me, our left. This is the left. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> So bring, lifting the left knee and then placing the left foot so that it's in line with your right knee. So creating this side stretch and then see how far you can kind of walk that left foot over. So really creating a stretch here in your inner thigh and you may even feel this in your hamstrings as well. You may even feel this in your glutes. So really feeling that stretch. And then inhale, bring the left leg back behind you, replace that left knee. Lift the right knee off of the earth and then reach that right foot over to your side so the right foot is in line with your left knee and then slowly walk it out a little further so you're really feeling the stretch in your inner thigh your right inner thigh maybe even up into your seat so the sole of your foot is on the earth and you're just walking, heel toeing that foot further away from your body, creating that deeper stretch. And then inhale the right leg back behind you, bringing the right knee back down to the earth. Let's do one more round of cat cow. So inhale, drop the belly, lift the tailbone, lift the chin. Exhale, round the spine, tuck the tailbone, tuck the chin. Inhale, come back to neutral. Walk your palms, one palm print ahead of where they're at. Tuck your toes. And as you exhale, lift the hips high to the sky, coming into down dog. First time here, so pedaling out our feet. Maybe bringing one knee in to the chest and then bringing the other knee in to the chest. Maybe dropping both heels over to one side and then the other side. Really warming up our dog here. It might feel good to lift all the way up on the toes, really creating a stretch for our toes. We don't really ever stretch out our toes. So coming up all the way onto your toes, really creating that stretch here for them. And then slowly lowering the heels back down towards the earth. Your heels may or may not reach the earth, doesn't matter. They're just going in that direction, creating that deep stretch in your calves. And then just kind of come to neutral in your down dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, slowly walk your feet behind your wrists, keeping your feet hips distance apart. Heavy bend in the knees, draping that torso over the thighs, sitting in that imaginary chair, using our thighs for a shelf. Palms are placed down on the mat in front of us. Arm, elbow, or palms can reach opposite elbows. You can sway from side to side. Wherever you land, allow your shoulders to relax. Allow your neck to relax. And allow everything to just hang heavy here. We're really letting go of everything, letting everything hang, relaxing, releasing, letting go, coming back to stillness, placing your palms on the earth in front of you. Inhale for a halfway lift, bring your palms to your shins, your back is flat. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise all the way up to standing. Arms reach up and overhead. 
Exhale, palms to touch, hands come to heart center. Close down the eyes here. And just take a few moments to observe your breath, observe your body, feel the sensations, and take a moment to set an intention for your practice. Inhale, arms reach up and overhead. Exhale, palms to touch, hands come through heart center, hinge at the hips, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms, step the right foot back, right knee down. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, plant the palms, Step the left foot back, coming into that high plank, or lower to the knees. Inhale here, and exhale, lower all the way down to the earth. Palms under the shoulders. Feet are pressed, the tops of the feet are pressing into that mat firmly. Knees may lift off of the earth. Legs are zipped up together as one. Inhale, lift that chest off of the earth. Little to no weight in your palms. See if you can lift your palms off of the earth here, just using the lift in your chest. And then inhale, lift a little higher, press into the tops of those feet. Exhale, lower all the way back down. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, the right leg high. Exhale, the right foot between the palms, bring the left knee down. Inhale, arms reach up and overhead. Exhale, plant the palms, step the left foot forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to standing, arms overhead. Exhale, palms to touch, hands to heart center. Close down the eyes, observe the breath, observe the sensation. And ask the question, where can I be more creative? Inhale, arms reach up and overhead. Exhale, palms to touch, hands through heart center, hinge at the hips, fold forward. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, plant the palms, step the left foot back, left knee down. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, plant the palms, step the right foot back, coming into that high plank. Option to lower. Inhale here. And exhale, lower all the way down to the earth. Legs lift up together as one. Palms down by your sides, palms root to the earth. And inhale, lift everything up, balancing here on our pubic bone. Fingertips and toes reach back, tuck the chin, crown of the head reaches forward. Inhale, lift everything a little higher. And exhale, lower all the way back down, palms under the, shin, the shoulders. Inhale. Tabletop, exhale, down dog. Inhale, the left leg high. Exhale, the left foot between the palms, right knee down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, plant the palms, step the right foot forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to standing, arms reach. Exhale, palms to touch, hands to heart center. Close down the eyes. Observe the breath. Feel the sensations. And invite in creativity. <clears throat> 
Inhale, arms reach overhead. Exhale, palms to touch, hands through heart center, hinge at the hips, fold forward. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, plant the palms, step both feet back, coming into high plank. Option here to lower to the knees. <clears throat> Make sure those elbow creases are shifted forward. Inhale, lift the right leg. Exhale, lower a third of the way. Inhale, up, lower the left le the right leg. Inhale, lift the left. Exhale, lower a third of the way. Inhale, up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, here. Exhale, down dog. Not so bad, right? Okay, inhale that right leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, bring the right knee to the right elbow, give it some love. Exhale, back to three-legged dog. Inhale, bring the right knee to the left elbow, give that left elbow some love, bring it back. <laughs> three-legged dog. Inhale here. Exhale, step that right foot between the palms. Take the left palm to the inside of your right foot. And then inhale, easy twist, reach that right arm high to the sky. Right fingertips reach up, reaching long, twisting here with our upper body. Chest is lifting to the sky. <clears throat> Exhale, replace the right palm back to the earth. Inhale, rise up, high lunge. <clears throat> and again, being in high lunge, our right knee over our right ankle. Your left knee may be bent a little bit. If you wanna stretch this left hip, reach in that left knee. Feel that. Subtle differences with minor shifts in the body, or big differences with subtle shifts. Reaching those arms high to the sky. And then as you exhale, bring the palms to your hips. Bring that left foot down all the way to the earth, setting up into warrior one. The Left toes are pointed up to the left corner of your mat. That front knee is bent. If you want to bend more into that front knee, walk the right foot forward so that you have more of a stretch here. You wanna make sure that you're keeping the left foot on the earth. Then interlace your fingers behind you Draw your knuckles to the earth so your chest is lifted. Gaze is up high. Inhale here. And as you exhale, slowly bend into humble warrior. So the chest is coming to the inside of that right knee. We're not placing our chest on top of the right knee. We're bringing our chest to the inside of our right knee. Whoa, and don't fall over. <laughs> if you do, just come back. And then bring those knuckles up to the sky, really opening our heart and our chest here. If this is too much and it doesn't feel good in your shoulders, just place your palms on your low back, <clears throat> creating that same expansion, putting your awareness into your left heel, drawing and pushing the energy into that left heel, and then bring your fingers apart and slowly bring your palms down to the earth on either side of your right foot, and then bring your right palm, your right fingertips, just in front of your right foot. Option to stay here and lift 
the left arm up to the sky. <clears throat> so your feet are both rooted. Or we can come into half moon where we slowly shift all of our weight into our right leg, lifting our left foot to the sky. <clears throat> if you fall over, it's totally fine. Reaching the left fingertips high to the sky, pressing the left foot into that wall behind you, seeing if you can maybe balance, bringing that right palm to the right shin. And wherever you've landed, if your left leg is lifted, slowly lower it and come into warrior two. If you didn't lift your left leg, shift your left foot back into warrior two. So our front knee is still bent at that angle, stacking our right knee over our right ankle. Our left foot is parallel with the short edge of our mat. Arms are reaching equally in opposite directions. Our gaze is over our right middle finger. Inhale here and exhale, shift back to warrior two. That left palm comes on the left thigh. Right arm reaches up and back, creating that side body stretch here. Feeling this in your right side. Inhale here and exhale, cartwheel the palms back to the earth. Step the right foot back, coming into high plank. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, lower a third. Inhale up. Exhale, lower the right leg. Inhale, left leg. Exhale, lower a third. Inhale, up. Exhale, lower the left leg. Inhale. Exhale, down dog. Woo-wee. All right. Inhale, your left leg high. Exhale, left knee taps the left elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Give it some love. Exhale, back. Inhale, and exhale. Bring that left foot all the way through. Bring the right palm to the inside of that left foot. Inhale, lift that left arm up. Easy twist. Lifting here at our waist. Lifting our chest to the sky. Gaze is up towards that left palm. Looking up. Inhale here. Exhale, left palm back down. Inhale, rise up. High crescent lunge. We're our left knee over left ankle. And again, your right knee might be bent or straightened and feel that stretch. Feel the right hip really getting that good stretch here. Inhale, reach high to the sky. Exhale, palms come to the hips. Place that left foot back on the earth. Front knee is still at a 90 degree angle. If you want more space, Walk that left foot forward. Um, sorry, I totally got distracted. Okay, so the back toes are at a 45 degree angle, shifting up towards the right corner of your mat. Interlace the fingers behind you, reach the knuckles to the earth, lift the chest up, lift the gaze up, Inhale here, exhale, slowly hinge at your hips, fold forward, lead with that chest, bringing the chest to the inside of your left knee, not on, but inside the left knee. Again, if this is too much, 
to draw the knuckles to the sky. Place the palms on your low back. Really creating a heart opener here. We're opening our hips and we're opening our chest, opening that heart. And then exhale, place the palms on the earth. Take the left fingertips, place them in front of the left foot. And then option to stay here or reach the right arm up twisting open here an option to come into half moon so shift all of your weight into your left foot lifting the right foot off the earth balancing here on your left foot and your left fingertips really open those hips up flexing the foot bring the right toes back to the knee Pressing that heel, right heel, into whatever's behind you. Maybe creating some extra balance here. Bring the left palm to the left shin. And then if you lifted, slowly lower that right knee back down, or that right leg back down, coming into warrior two. The left leg is 90 degrees, left knee is over left ankle, right foot is parallel with the short edge of the mat. Arms are reaching equally in opposite directions. Inhale here, exhale, reverse warrior, right palm to the right thigh, left arm reaching up and back, feeling the stretch in your left side. Inhale and exhale, cartwheel of the palms back down to the earth. Left foot comes back, high plank. Inhale, exhale, inhale, right leg up. Exhale, lower a third. Inhale, rise. Exhale, lower the right leg. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, lower a third. Inhale, rise, exhale, lower, inhale, exhale, down, dog. Take a few moments to pause here. Take a few breaths, and we're gonna flow through that again. We're gonna go breath to movement, so it's gonna be a little faster. We're not gonna pause and settle, we're just gonna keep flowing. And then at the end, on each side, we're gonna add some little extra fun. So, whenever you're ready, let's collectively take in a deep inhale here, and open mouth exhale, letting it all go. Inhale your right leg high, Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Inhale back, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale back. Exhale, right foot between the palms. Inhale, right arm lifts, easy twist. Exhale, right palm settles. Inhale, rise up, crescent lunge. Exhale. Palms to the, to the hips, reaching, interlacing those palms together. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, humble warrior. Inhale, part the palms, plant the right palms in front of the toe. Exhale here. Inhale, lift and rise, half moon. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale here, exhale, reverse warrior. Inhale, and exhale, warrior two. Now adding on, bring those right toes parallel with your left, so you're facing the left side. And we're gonna shift into some goddess squats. 
So actually bringing the heels in towards one another, your toe, your heels are in to one another, your toes are out to the corners of your mat, towards the corners of your mat. Bring your palms to touch at heart center. Inhale here and exhale lower into goddess squat, sitting back into that chair. Our back is straight. Inhale, lift the left or the right heel. Exhale lower. Inhale, lift the right heel. Exhale lower. Inhale, lift both heels. Exhale lower. Inhale, burst open into a star and say, I'm a star because you are. And then exhale, shift towards the top of your mat. Turn all 10 toes to the top of your mat. Bring your left knee to the earth. Bring both palms to the inside of your right foot. Heel toe your right foot over to the edge of your mat. Right heel on the mat, left toes off, right toes off the mat. Setting up for runner's lunge, getting into these hips. If you need your left hip back further, just press into the top of your foot, lift your knee and walk your knee back. And then coming into your runner's lunge, you can stay up on your palms. You can come down to your forearms. You can use something resembling a block to place under your forearms. And wherever you land, close your eyes, let your head hang, unclench your jaw, release your teeth, and relax your tongue and the roof of your mouth. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, come back to your palms if you're not already there and tuck those back toes. Exhale, bring the right foot back, coming into high plank. Option to lower to those knees. Inhale, lift the right leg. Exhale, lower a third. Inhale, rise. Exhale, lower. Inhale, the left leg. Exhale, a third. Inhale, rise. Exhale, lower. Inhale. Exhale, down dog. And switching gears to our left side. Inhale, the left leg high. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, left foot between the palms. Inhale, reach the left arms up. Exhale, plant the palm. Inhale, rise to crescent. Exhale, palms to the hips. Palms reach behind you, interlace. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, hinge forward. Warrior two, or excuse me, humble warrior. Inhale, exhale, part the hands. Bring the left palm in front of the left foot. Inhale, and exhale, rise up, half moon. Exhale, come back to warrior two. Inhale, exhale back to reverse warrior. Inhale, warrior two. And exhale, bring those left toes parallel with the right foot, coming to your right side, should be. <clears throat> bring the heels in towards one another your toes pointing up towards the corners of your mat, palms to your chest, palms at heart center, palms touching. Inhale here, exhale lower into that goddess squat. Inhale, lift the left heel, exhale lower. Inhale, right heel or left heel, exhale lower. 
Inhale, both heels. Exhale, lower. Inhale, burst open into a star. Say out loud, I'm a star, because you are. And then inhale here. And exhale, cartwheel your hands to the earth. Bring the toes back to the top of the mat. Bring your right knee down. Palms are inside the left foot. Heel toe the left foot over to the edge of the mat. Left heel on the mat, left toes off. If you need to bring that right leg back, press into the top of the foot, walk that right knee back. Coming into runner's lunge on this side. Really getting into those hips, so option to stay on your palms, option to come to your forearms. We're using a block to be or something to be a block to bring the earth closer to you. Let the head hang heavy here. Close down the eyes. Relax your jaw. Release your teeth. Let go of the tongue from the roof of your mouth. Settling in here. Wherever you've landed, come back to your palms. Inhale here and exhale. Bring that left leg back, coming into high plank. Inhale, the right leg up. Exhale, lower a third of the way. Inhale, rise. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Exhale, lower a third. Inhale, rise. Exhale, lower the left foot. Inhale. Exhale, down dog. Woo-wee. <laughs> Inhale, your right leg high. And exhale, your right knee behind your right wrist. Coming into pigeon. <clears throat> The right knee is behind the right wrist. Your right foot is behind your left wrist. Walk the palms back. Look over the left shoulder. Make sure those left toes are straight behind you. Lift the chest high to the sky. Inhale. And as you exhale, hinge at the hips. Walk forward. Come down to your forearms. Maybe rest your forehead on your forearms. Or maybe your forehead can come all the way to the earth. Settling down here. Closing down those eyes. Closing down the eyes. Tuning back in to your breath. Tuning into the sensations of your body. Feeling into the creativity. And then wherever you've landed, come back to your palms. Setting your palms up for down dog. Tuck those back toes. Inhale. And as you exhale, press everything into the earth and lift the hips high to the sky, three-legged dog. Make hip circles or knee circles with that right leg in one direction and then the other, creating some blood flow back into that right hip. Taking any movements here that feel good on your right side. <clears throat> and then coming back to stillness in your down dog. Inhale, lift that left leg high. Exhale, that left knee behind the left wrist. Left toes behind the right wrist. 
Look over the right shoulder. Make sure those right toes are straight behind you. Walk your palms back to your hips. Inhale, lift the chest high. Exhale, hinge at your hips, fold forward, come down to your forearms. Maybe rest your forehead onto your forearms and your palms. Maybe the forehead reaches the earth. Settling in on this side. Coming back to the breath. Closing down those eyes, tuning into your body, and tuning into your creativity. Release your neck muscles, relax your shoulders, let go of your jaw. Relax your face, your cheekbones, your forehead. Let everything go and settle into this space. When you feel balanced and complete on both sides, begin to walk yourself back up to your palms. Setting your palms up for down dog. Tuck the right toes under. Inhale, and as you exhale, press away the earth. Lift the hips high to the sky. Lift that left leg up, coming into three-legged dog. Take knee circles with your left knee in one direction, and then the other. Taking any movements on this side, that you took on the other side, creating balance and equanimity on both sides. And then this is our last down dog of practice. So taking any movements here that you want, that you desire, that your body's asking for, and then come to stillness in your down dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, walk all the way through, coming down to a comfortable seat. Inhale here, and exhale, lower all the way down to your back. <clears throat> you made it. <laughs> so inhale, bring those knees into your chest. Bring your palms to your shins. Gently rock side to side, massaging out your spine. And then wrap those knees tightly together. Squeeze the knees firmly into the chest. <clears throat> Lift your head off of the earth. Give each of your knees a loving kiss in deep gratitude that your body is physically able to flow through yoga. And then take in the deepest inhale you've taken all day long. And as you exhale, slowly let everything fall to the earth. Let your feet come out to the wide edges of your mat. Arms fall to your sides. Eyes close down. Head gently rests on the earth. Closing down those eyes. Palms can root into the earth for grounding. Palms can face the sky for receiving. Your right palm can come to your belly. Left palm can come to your chest if you're wanting that extra TLC in Shavasana. Bring into your awareness the intention you set at the beginning of practice. Bring into your awareness the question of how can I be 
more creative. And then allow all of that to float off and float away into space as you sink and melt deeper into your Shavasana. And I will come back for you when it's time. The universe is not outside of you. Look inside yourself. Everything that you want, you already are. You always think you need more. More wisdom, more knowledge, more certifications, more training, more of everything. The absolute last thing that you need is more. What you really need is less. What are you going, when are you going to stop and realize every single thing you need lives right inside of you? Stop searching outside and begin feeling inside. Magic lives within you. Go find it today. I invite you to continue resting in your Shavasana. And if you want to invite movement back into your body, begin to wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, roll out your wrists and your ankles. Drop your head from side to side. Maybe create a full body stretch, reaching those arms up and overhead, reaching the palms behind you at the same time, stretching those toes forward, really creating full length in your body here. And then whenever you feel ready, bring your knees into your chest. Gently rock side to side. And then whenever you're ready, fall all the way over to your favorite side. 
whatever side you've landed on, use that same arm, reach it up overhead using that bicep as a pillow for your head. Taking a few moments here to integrate in this beautiful space of rebirth and new beginnings. Knowing that anything you want is already here. It's already within you. It already exists. It just may require some creativity. It may require you being creative so that you can allow these gifts, this beauty to radiate from within, radiate from the out, from the inside out. Using your creativity to get it out there. I invite you to carry the question of where can I be more creative with you throughout your day? Whenever you feel ready, press yourself up into a comfortable seat. Once you reach your comfortable seat, close down your eyes, bring your palms to touch. Hands at heart center, bow the head towards your palms. It is always a pleasure and an honor to be here with all of you in this beautiful practice of yoga. So thank you for saying yes to yourself. Thank you for choosing to show up and be in your practice of yoga this morning. And thank you for allowing me to guide you through this practice. The light within me honors, sees, reflects, and loves the light in each of you. Namaste.